Now first blood is drawn. What? Charging down. This is fun, actually. We see a lot of CT sides go for this, Lauren. It stops the T's from being able to set up and blow you up. But losing your jewels can get awkward playing clean into another on alt mid. I love that second mid pressure, though, from the T's. It's a really nice response. And Nico taking it further away from them. Leaves the CT's in a weird spot. Rush kind of isolated. He does have config on the way, but in a good position to punish this play coming in through from Boiler Room. But... Pause for thought here from the T's. They slow down the pace, try and bring themselves back together, but the CTs are in the right place right now. And I say right now because they're off. Yeah, Complexity have uh, given up the chessboard here, allowing Heroic to rotate back around the map. Both Config and Rush planted over towards the A site. This will allow a free plant to come in. And because Complexity went for an aggressive CT side of pistol early, that meant that they had five sets of armor. So there'll be no kit for this retake. It's just going to be the headshots. The fact that Nico's picked up a USP, he might posture himself quite aggressively. You can see he's set up in the new box position. So as they come in to retake this site, swinging with that USP, popping their heads is going to be important. And Bo up to swing up close and personal with that Glock. I'm hating how long it's taken just to get back into the round. They've rotated in from two optimal angles. Nico, if his jiggle is spotted, that's a lot of the time saved. Sound cute. And config will go out of the server with the first bullet from Nico. Rush is still checking emo. Nico can dance around the box. This is heroic round and a sterling start to Nico. We heard Hunden pointing his finger towards Stown, but in the previous interview we had, the first name out of many that have played against heroic is that of Nico, having those unorthodox plays that can get under your skin. This is not so unorthodox, but certainly starting something special. Yeah, just quickly uh, on the heroic side of things, this team, you look at it and nobody is really a standout name. Stown is the one that in the past we would have spoken about as a star of Heroic and he even got to play with Blame F back in a Heroic roster not that long ago. But we've seen Tessus doing mad things. We've seen Borat with some fantastic aim. Everybody on this team is serviceable and that's what's great about Heroic. They have Hunden behind them coaching, calling the shots, helping them with the fundamentals and while the force by coming out with the tag from Poison there onto Stown, there's no loose cannon on this team. No. And, and at part, you know, there's part and parcel of that that actually does benefit you. If you're getting enough out of your consistency. Heroic could prove to be a real problem for that top 10. Here they go, Tessus will strafe out, air strafing, trying to draw the crosshairs. Nico's AK is a priority target and good patience from Obo. You see, he didn't rush that, didn't get overwhelmed and he continues to try and chip away, but it's Borup into the A site. They've got access, they've got a plant and only blame and config smokes and deegs. Tough decision to be made here. It looks like config's made it already. He's bouncing around towards Speedway. Maybe going to try and take a, one of those rifles on the exit. Let's not forget, two of them low enough that they can't save in that pit corner, I don't think, Chad. Actually, it's a far plant. Can you do the maths? Can you crunch the numbers? Carry the one? Uh, they might be all right. Yeah? I don't know the exact damage from every single Why not? Plant. Well, look, Alex, uh, I watch Ooh. it. I don't have my spreadsheets with me today. I've left them at home. So Config would love this. He's just going to try and hold W at the end and maybe, just maybe take a head off. But, of course, he's got Kevlar and Deagles to preserve. It looks like Borat believes he can. Should be fine. Blaine was hoping to land one Deagle bullet to take Cadian down with the radius, but they will escape. Config sticking around and maybe he wants to try and find a low HP AK. Oh. Gave it a good go. All right. Calm down. 2-0. Complacency will have to eco. They have two smokes left over here, which still makes them deadly. And I think Complexity have set the tone for how they want to approach things against Heroic just from that pistol round. Quite aggressive in their face. If you don't allow Heroic to have the setups with the strategies and play out their mid rounds, and you just force them into individual duels and multi-kill battles, that's where Complexity really should have their number, right? We've seen an interview with Blame F with HLTV.org where he talks about fitting all of this skill within one team. Well, Rush is the man who has to pick up all of the slack. He has to be that completely supportive element. Not only that, on the comms, he's keeping everybody calm. He's the most experienced member on the team. So a pop flash once they have or lose banana control or if Blame wants to swing, it actually looks deeper. So yeah, perhaps this is just to set up the peak from Blame. And their pre-fires immediately. So you can see Heroic Crosshairs are in the right spot. Nade does Not bad. off it from the confirmed info. Yeah, pretty decent. Love to have seen maybe a little bit more damage of that Deagle, but you can see the intention in mind. I like these kind of little set plays in motion, see if they can maybe just I don't want to say cheese away, but, but garner something. And it looks like a switch up in position, completely evacuating the B-bomb site, hitting right back around towards A, kind of leaning into this pretty hefty stack here. Now, on the other side, of course, the T's still maintaining banana control, not really falling off this just yet. Something for us to remember as well. 
um, and this is an interesting stat, so do bear, do pay attention despite the eco, it's that the European Cologne stats, this is exclusively to the European competition, Cologne are number one in 4v5 conversions. And I'll tell you the number, it's closing in on 50%. Wow. It's 46, Chad. That's nuts. 50% of the time, with an early disadvantage, Cole have won the round over the course of Cologne. That's nuts. And that's a statement of what, what their individuals are capable of, as well as their communication. So bear that one in mind once we get into the weapon rounds. And that's a great find from SEO. So big shout out to him. Heroic in contrast, if you were interested, are 36. So a full 10% discrepancy in that 4v5 conversion. Central, isn't it? And here comes the play back up. Banana, Nico, head on. Going to pad the stats a bit and kind of get himself feeling the game nice and early too. And he's had a really good start. If this echoes throughout the game, what a brilliant beginning for him. As I said, we were looking at kind of Tessa, Stown, these sort of names. But yeah, as I said, if Nico's feeling it, excellent stuff. The rest of the CT is still lingering around the bottom of T mid. I just want to remind everybody, as we see the last few members of Complexity get minced away here, Nico with yet another one, that the other day against G2 on Mirage, Heroic, they were in the driver's seat for that map. They should have potentially closed it. It should have been them getting into the playoffs with a high seed as one of the first four teams. However, that was not to be the case. That had to battle back through the lower bracket. Now, we do talk about youngsters, nerves, Mm. All of that coming into play, and it could be a factor with this team. You heard from Hunden in the pregame interview mentioning that, uh, look, he might have to jump in if things go a little bit awry. I mean, we see that falling foul of even you know, pretty established teams. There's so many that kind of fumbled on oh, the close. Uh, you know, plenty of coaches having to come in. But a big round now. We do have the guns up, poison there with the orb, something you... I Alex were hyping guy. up, but a boatload of utility just got thrown up banana as well. So the CT's forced away slightly, going to be humbled towards the site for now, and Poison with an instant lean there. Yeah, they are basically giving them banana control. You can see Kadian happy to take it with a very aggressive stance here. Early flash, not going to draw out any smokes, and I say that. Blame's not got one. What's the situation on config? Okay, so they've truly, at this early juncture of the round, already only got one smoke on the B side. That could be problematic. Test this with some contact and some presence towards brackets. They'll be taking mid control. So at the moment, this couldn't be better start for Heroic, right, Chad? They got both parts of the map. Yeah, exactly. There's no information for the CT side right now. As Ogo pushes forward, it looks like they may, might go for a mid-wall retake here, just to force Heroic around the map and having to respect the potential aggression. Keep your eyes on Bo up. He's in an important position right now to make sure that the CTs can't push any more forward. But it looks like it will be a B set piece with 45 seconds now left on the clock. That rotation from Poison has gone back over towards the A site. Did they commit on this? <laughs> Stown's chomping at the bit for it, isn't he? going to smoke. I mean, do they want to go grey screen? They're, they're going to have 15 seconds. They might have to flash through this, Lauren. This, this is it. This is all they've got left and Blame F is loving it. Grey screen in, he's going to get one, calls to config for support, but Nico on the excellent trade back in. b is theirs, Poison couldn't stop it in time, and even with just 20 seconds on the board, the bomb planted and the post begins, but look at Bore up holding this for so long, does he outdo Rush? Yes, he does. And suddenly the CTs feel so uncomfortable. Yeah, that was their, their shining armor, really, there. It was going to be that flank, that banana presence, suddenly Coffins isn't safe, suddenly you can't get caught out, and I'm afraid that's enough. The frag from Borup confirms the round heroic. Agree of a punish pick. Let's not forget this was their map pick in this series. And you can see, I think it was three times Ch Complexity have lost this in a row, Chad. That last was the four, punish? Four. four. Their last four. They've lost the last four in a row right here for Complexity. So Inferno, a weakness that Heroic are clearly looking to target here. Now, with that rotation early from Poison, that's either a tell or a read that Blames wanted to go, to go with right there of what they've watched and scouted in the demos, thinking that maybe they would go for a B hit a little bit quicker than that. But as we saw, they really strung it out. But what I like here is how tight they're playing. The fact that Borup gets that first kill, he doesn't hang around for more. He doesn't even go for the flank. He goes for the smart play, rotating back over to where his, where his teammates are on that B bomb site for just in case they go down. So making sure they're not giving anything up here, and that's what you want to do. Keep it as tight and tidy as you can. And fantastic trade work here. So even though Config and Blame both opened up with one, we speak about how difficult it can be to retake the bomb sites on a map like this. You got a Vuvuzela. Who has a Vuvuzela at home? <laughs> You're mad. But I respect it to our fifth round and it is some real sacrifices. Just that 2k mark plus the saves. Still looks super dangerous God, considering it? it is just a half buy and poison opening up over there towards Banana onto KD and that's a big find. And that's probably going to deter them and compel them to push into the stack. There's way more where that came from, Borup. Could get caught with nades in his hands and he does. That was what they were banking on. It's Obo to fill the feed. Two on two, flubbed nave and flanked as well. Nico finds his ninth 
frag here in the fifth round of play. Poison, let's see if you can show everybody at home what you are capable of. Stage is set, ahead of the smoke, Nico's waiting. And that's heroic to find their fifth. Five consecutive rounds out of the gate and Nico's found 10. 280R to start off this map. Notice how they're not letting the game get messy at all. The pistol round, messy, right? It was very messy, but they were, oh, getting up, we need these. Is that orange juice? Vitamin C, it's very important. You gotta get them in here. Yeah? But these trades right here on top mid, even though Oboe was able to get two, the poise of these individuals, you're seeing the aim right now is we are 5-0 up, the full guns will come out once again. Config on the Famous. There are kits in play, so Kit Watch is looking good to we're kick fine. off the playoffs. This is quick. Never mind, are they canning? Ooh. They are taking banana control though. And that nade from Poison looks set for success. 150 damage thereabouts inflicted. With a nice little top spin. Granata. Floor of Molotovs. The CTs have completely cleared up banana, so they can start stacking towards A if they desire, because that's where Heroic are coming. This pace ain't stopping either, Alex. This is going to be really quick, really snappy. All that damage from the nade shown in the success of the kills coming in so swiftly. But now the molly burns and the T's are kind of left in a bad spot here. Yeah, now it looks good for Rush. He will eventually go down, but kd has got no one alongside him. Poison's playing on the box, playing with the line of sight, and he will find a second. So he drew blood to start it off, and Complexity start their Inferno off. After uh, two frags from Poison, Oboe down to 4.3. Looks like everyone's set for some success there. Config's dropped the FAMAS, so everyone's going to have enough to frag. Start building a bank on that CT side. Yeah, it's a little bit strange that I thought the Heroic were going to have fast when I saw all four second members through the mid, potentially using their banana player to call if it is that stack and then isolating the two A defenders. They took too long on that rotation. Oboe was able to get a double kill off of it. But I think they might slow this one down yet again. If you can isolate complexity, take away the utility, that's where they can find the advantage. Considering the pace we saw up mid then and a couple of little kind of pace changes here and there, they, they have to be a little bit forthcoming with the utility on complexity. They can't just sit back and wait. It has been quite consistent, but Stown's made a little bit of progress up towards the top of Banana and he can kind of relay that information as they start the grind of their util to force away any of these close-up angles. And as that top Banana is cleared out, they have the info that, well, the map control is leaning towards us here. Yeah, so... Boosting config up, Obo with the only smoke. If there is any more contact banana, Obo will be dropping his smoke and, and rotating config as the solo player. So action on A. Bombs on his way towards B, so you can see Heroic's plan starting to manifest. Another color by numbers round. Take banana control. They haven't taken top mid control, but they've feigned that they are. This boost over the top here from Blame is big. That information for the CTs mean they don't have to rotate or get a little bit skittish over towards B. They can keep two players on that side of the map. And Cadian. He's isolated with the bomb by himself, but now as he makes his way back towards middle, this one is looking like an A hit. Two smokes to work with, one flash, a Molotov and a nade. So Tess is going to smoke long side. That's Cadian's job, it seems. The conversation happening live in front of us. And two to receive. It's going to be Blame and Rush. God, and Poison feels a mile away. Just about coming back round towards maybe Library, back of CT Arch. And this time is running solo. That's a massive kill though from Rush. Holding down from Pit, denies presence, but they've broken through on CTR. Has to be Nico's down. Plan. Nico has to start planting, but he can't when his teammates are dead. He needs a frag and a plant in three seconds. It's just pre fire. It's wild. He hasn't got time, and that is the round. So close, yet so far. Complexity will take themselves the final oh. frag as well. Nico goes down, and that's a fantastic way to. Really, put, twist the knife into Heroic's T side. They're going to run away with this now. At least close that gap. 3.4k, it's just not enough to splash. It was Rush's double. You bang on, Lauren. Taking down the AWPer and the bomb with so little time on the clock. Flame, admittedly, just waiting for that smoke. He knew this pincer was coming. Oh, very well played by the CT side, and that's going to put a smile on Complexity in-game leader's face. In back-to-back -back rounds here, it's been multi-kills to kick it off for Complexity. Rush from the pit, and then previously Oboe towards that arch side. If they're not trading one for one, this is where the individual prowess of complexity can really shine. And now that they get to go up against pistols, this should be their bread and butter. Players without too many frags right now are going to be hungry to get a couple on the board here and get their stats padded just a little bit. As Config goes for a reconnaissance mission down Banana, hearing that deagle, that'll be relayed across to the team and he even thinks better of it. Don't need to go close, don't need to give away a free rifle. Play this one safe, play it smart. Oh, again, this piece from the team. Oh! 
Tessas, you're obscene. And now Nico's in on it. It's a 4v3. And well, the one <laughs> bonus is look at where they're heading, Alex. This is cool. Look at Config. He smoked off banana. That's not going to help you, bro. Because here they come. It's not even a Glock train, the Deagle train. Looking to pull into the station. Config's in trouble, trying to conduct some business. And Borup's done it for him. Beheads him. Heroic. The Danes and their bunny hopping pistols. It's happened again. It's heroic to pull it off. Cadian bounding around the corner, pulling the crosshairs. And now a real chance. I don't know if Rush is going to be able to do anything more than a HE. They don't want to lose an AWP on this retake. And look at the money. They have to They're save. Screwed. Heroic have done it. That's ridiculous. That all started with Tessus, the man of the moment in their previous series. Absolutely hammering home that kill. That, oh dear. So who was that? Was that Blame? I think he was dealing with it. Initially, Blame came rotated back from B. He's the player who died in front of Speedway, so it would have been Obo. Yeah, because Config was the B defender, so it's not often you see Obo getting no, smashed out of the server in that regard. Important for Complexity to hold on to these right here, because once again we can see that the money situation will allow them to go for a partial buy behind that. See, look at the sign of that: eat, sleep, frag, repeat. Play, I didn't repeat. make it up. Does it's it say play? play. Oh, it's an MF. okay. Is that iced tea? Ooh, I'm not a lot sure. of sugar in iced tea. So we can yeah. apple juice and iced tea. Goodness me, Borup. You've got to watch your sugar intake. You don't want him to dip down. Eh? Yeah, he's going to have a sugar dip in map three. But at this point, it might be over in two if they keep Ooh, sort of Oh, I like what you did so there. That was so nice. I, I love this. I've got to say it. And, you know, again, this is early days. I don't want to get too excited. But it feels like Heroic are very prepared. They have not just a game plan. It's a mission in mind. And the execution so far has been excellent. The double nades poison almost instantly nullified Antessus. They're reading him like a book. Yeah, he just three and up. This is about Biff and Chip. Spot the dog is Big Red Bull. My goodness, they got that one on lock. And there's down. Finding some more. Blame's going to catch the nade. He does escape. But they've got no armor. They've got no hope. And this will be heroic seventh. You're right about the save call. Poison losing his AWP. Perfect time to be throwing out those stack nades. They know that the AWP has to be one of the front-facing front, front fraggers, right? He has to go and make the early advantage to peek that CT side up. So stack oh, oh, oh. Oh, They're not even going to let them save anything. Does put them four for Blame to recover. Whether or not he gets away. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, How does that work for him? I don't know. His scroll wheel's different to ours, and now Borup wraps it all up. So there is seven, but uh, I really enjoyed that one, just seeing how clean it can be. Perfectly backing up your point as well, Lauren. Let's see. Complexity have lost 10 rounds per map at this event so far. So on average, we're seeing that 10-round mark for complexity and defeat. I, th I think the map veto, is, as Chad was kind of bringing up, Inferno, is, is, uh, would you say it's a target pick? I, I just think just with those losses... Well, I think with those losses, it could be a target because four in a row, that means there's clearly a problem going on there, right? And Complexity the type of team who, when they have issues, they would be trying to fix them. And this is a map where the individual firepower, sure, it's great. Sure, it's uh, going to help you, but you can isolate the sites. And you're seeing this early. When they want to hit B and the gamble stack's coming in from Complexity, they're gambling incorrectly, right? They've had three players over towards that B site when A hits have come on in. They've had uh, players caught in transition several times. So if you're not sitting ready to make the kills like we saw from Oboe on the arch side and rush over towards Pit, the rounds, they're not coming their way. And this is seven very quick on the board from Heroic here. The guns are back out once again. Orp in the hands of Poison. Let's see if they can change the pace here, Complexity. Three towards apps. Config riding that deep smoke into Banana. So they do deny a lot of info early for the T's. They will not be able to take that Banana control. And in response, Banana is clear. Apps is suspicious. Rush, you wouldn't go further than this, would you? He's thinking about it. That corner's going to be pre-fired. He's going to get one and a half. That could be enough. Obo, he just has to tap away at the heads of two bombs. Spotted's down to trade in and he's struggling. 3v2, bomb to be recovered, and only one cowering on the side, but it's Poison with his signature weapon. Look at the movement. You can see how he's completely evaded the scope. It's down. Got a lot to do here, but plenty of time to do it. So he'll start to build into the clutch. Flame's not interested in letting him escape. So her heroic four, three for Cole. Whose molly was that in apps? Was it the T's to clear? I I'm actually not sure. I think uh, it was, right? I think it came from Obo. Right. Because was a, I love the way you push back into it. Like the timing, you just slot it in. Um, but yeah, that was that was quite quite fun to watch. But the thing I was going to kind of try and talk about here, it, it's almost counterintuitive. Cole got, just got back on the board.
Oh, Chad is quite uh, resonating is that Complexity like to be a little bit more aggressive. They wanted to get in their faces, bring it into a realm where it favors them. It's hard to yeah. hit down, but we are seeing Rush leading by example. But well, Config just oh! his head bore up. Unreal precision. And now the advantage swings to the T's, but it's instantly brought back by Poison. Oh, he's found a gap. Does Oboe know he's passed? Nico can take the site. This sound cue is going to cause the flank here and well, dealt with. You were bang on though, Chad. That was a huge gap. It may be enough to keep them all rotated to A. And well, Cadian's on his way with Stown to try and get that bomb down. They've got the full smoke exec. And please, no, don't overthink this. But look at this. They're all rotating. Everybody's left the A site. Cadian might be able to get away with a free plant on A here. I mean, yeah. Certainly. Stown's calling it clear. If he could somehow sell this, if he, we, could, we could be on for some 4D chess maneuver. Well, gap in the smoke. There we that go. gap's been there twice now. That gap, they threw it when they did the B hit. Nico spotted it as he jumped across. And once again, the gap's there. So whoever's throwing that spawn smoke, they've missed it twice within this game. That time it was coming from Cadian's hands. Now, well, maybe he can try and find some redemption. Orp. Walking into the first fight. Obo, he only had the Famas. That favors Cadian. Doesn't want to overthink now. He has the advantage. He knows he's going to summon the remaining two just by planting that bomb. Patience is also a virtue. He knows the line has to be adopted at some point. It's going to be a question of timing here, Lauren. 30 seconds, bomb on his back and a Molotov. I love this pausing. I know it's dangerous and you don't want to overthink, but the pause brings doubt. Now there is none. Poison and Blame have to try and play it back in. Two smokes, no kit. So there is a bit of an incentive of time in here, but Blame F wrapping, going round towards Quad. After everything Borup did in this round, Cadian has a chance to convert that sensational double on the mid aggression, but they're going to peak at the same time. He can't pull the trigger on two targets. He's getting shot at in the booty. Ooh. It's Blame F. Find his first, but it was Poison that really does pull that round back under com complexity control. Double kill. Tessa's peaking up second middle, gives them the equalizer and the rest. Well, just good team play and mid round comms. Puts four on the board. Cole needed that. Let's see Borup's double. This was very, very good example of the kind of aim you can expect. Adjust his crosshair, crouches up, takes another, and this was Poison quickly pulling things back under control. This is the gap we're the gap. talking about. Yes, it's a big gap. It's a huge one. I noticed it before when they did that B hit, but they, deal, they dealt with blame and they dealt with uh, config on the site quite easily. But they need to know that that's a problem. So that smoke from Cadian, if he throws it a little bit higher, it's going to bounce off the top of the wall and hopefully that should cover it on off. But that's a very basic pedestrian mistake being made here. It could come back to haunt Heroic. A round could look different. They have gone for the force by right here. They've put all their pennies in. It's down on that UMP. The little for Bo up. The rest of the AKs. Flashes are good on both sides. <laughs> it's, I, I'm always so tempted to chase those sort of kills, and I know it's exactly what the CTs would want, and Heroic showing so much uh, presence of mind to just keep it slow, keep it calm. They can't waste utility here. Everything is precious to them. And God, if they do hit B, pray that smoke lands properly. Obo's going to rotate. They just cleared top mid, so they might have a third defender on the B bomb site before this hit comes in. Only two smokes and two flashes to work with here. And Blame F is the steps. Good flashes. Config's done well for the first. He's hiding on oranges, and Cadian opens us up. It's there Obo is. trying to close it out. Into the mid round. Bomb yacht to be planted. Cadian trying to take some space. Tessus been given that responsibility. He even as a smoke, if he does a deep one for Cadian, we are cooking. Banana a threat as well. That's the smoke I was talking about. Does oh, huh? <laughs> not necessarily enable him to cross the new box. And that's the jewel rush needed to win. Cadian fluffs his lines, tests to clutch. Okay. We've been pumping this player up. We know what he's, a, he's incredibly capable of, but Rush is watching this, and Rush is a safe pair of hands, but the timing is perfect for Tessus. And now the 1v1 poison save complexity, and he might have to do it again. Oh, the orb. Wait for the sound. It's good from poison. Five for the complexity gang, and again, it's poison that pulls them across the line. That's two rounds that they can thank their lucky stars that they have him on their roster. Big win for Complexity, keeping it competitive. I understand what Tessus was going for there. A lot of people question, why didn't he just wait for the sound? Well, when he's planted at the back of the site there, Poisonous has to be swinging his head around, knowing where Tessus is, also having to find the bomb to potentially fake it out. So he's trying to find him while he's transitioning into the site. Hasn't paid off for him here. One of those situations that a bit of a 50-50 and with the clock where it was, in hindsight, when he goes back and watch the demo, probably should have played that sound cue. But you sure. can't question him in the moment. Not going to question him in the moment. I just know that, especially when you're up against an AWPA, 
when it's a 1v1 and you have the, the like, I know Poison's awkward as hell as soon yeah. as he has to defuse, and I win the round if he doesn't defuse. Precisely. Like, I'm strafing around that corner as fast as I can, knife out, pooping myself. These are the moments that we're talking about that might get the better of some yeah. of these players on the heroic side of things. None of these individuals are hugely experienced. You could say Nico, he has probably quite a chunk, uh, playing at a lot of different teams. Katie and the same, over to North America and back. And then you'd be looking towards Stown. Bow up and Tessas are still the newer boys on the block at this level of Counter-Strike. Which climb out was that? That was, uh, we well, it's three out. for three, so... It's kind of hard to work on. If you could find that, I'd be call. interested if Heroic called that to calm him down. It was. He'd be just curious. Um, but for now, it looks like the buy coming in is going to be a bit weird. We've got the Mac Daddies coming out three and uh, some complimentary utility off the back of it too. Now, the reason you're seeing a buy like this come out again from Heroic, because just in the previous, we had that UMP and Galil in play. They can keep this CT sided economy still under the thumb. If they win this one, complexity going into the tail end of the game will have nothing to work with, and Heroic might be able to run away with a couple more. That's a huge opening from Stown. <laughs> Hunden's rubbing his hands together. Stown on to blame F. Gets this party started. Round 13, map one, quarter final one. And how much are you sweating if you're config here? No smokes, no flashes, no nothing. It's just you. It's you against potentially four players on the other side. Well, he's taking some initiative and he's taking one down with him. Now the smoke, a terribly large gap for the right side this time. Can get that bomb down, thrown across. You can see how cautious they were. <laughs> Overcompensating. Yeah. Bomb will be down. I'm afraid for complexity, their positions are indicative of a save. Cadian in a prime position to do some serious damage. You can give him full off the leash freedom here, right? With the MAC-10? You should really go for it. The loss bonus for complexity going into the next round is only $1,400. You take away any of these rifles right here. You're giving yourself a chance to secure a few more rounds on this already potent T half. And Kadian getting caught by Oboe there. He will fall. The other three remaining members of Heroic will do their best to hold on to these AKs because their economy hasn't really flourished just yet. And Tessa's upgrading to that M4A4, the beautiful Hal. But with three Mac 10s against the fully bought up CT side, they do a coordinated B hit and take the eight. You said how this was going to screw Cole into the next following, what, two rounds? But. Save three weapons, it's not as intimidating as it could have been. This was Config's trade, which really did give them access to the site. It does feel like that B site has been run around, if I'm honest. I feel like he, Rush is such a safe pair of hands towards A. He's just kind of been playing in pit, keeping presence. I see Jason Lake in he the did. fan cam. I'm just going to check. I'm checking, we appreciate I'm checking that? what time it is in Dallas. One moment. What time is he awake? Because this is quite early. Having his morning coffee with his boys. 8.29. 8, Jason's probably morning. been up since 5 a.m. You know, he's been out there. He's already gone, he's for, gone a for a run. run. He's oh, a run. Oh, it's a nasty way to go down. Oboe's trying to claw it back. Flash. It's config. Fully blind, blame, keeping them safe. Nades, take the rifle away. Config will have to work with the MP9. My God, what a way to start it off. We're 90 seconds in and it's a 3v2. This is a bloodshed. That was four individuals for complexity towards the top of Banana to deal with Heroic's presence here. But now they're in a 2v3 situation. The A site is given up. If they go through mid, that's the only port where the CTs can defend and rush. The jiggles. <sighs> Jeez, that could have been real dangerous right there. I am thoroughly enjoying what he's bringing. There's the trade. That's okay. It's kept in check. Nice work from Blame F there. But I, I'm, I, I know it's, it's kind of hard to categorize because obviously like Oboe's been popping off poison. Looks kind of spicy. But Rush being that kind of backbone to that A site, that pit kills that came in. Him just playing safe as it, it's not flashy. Yeah. It's not going to be your, you know, popping off here and that. But he's playing that role. But I feel so, so well right now. He's got, I would argue, he won two of their six rounds now. You he know, was the player who pushed the Molly and Apps, right? Certainly. He did that as well, yeah. So that's maybe even three. Two pits, uh, two kills double from, kill pit from with pit the with the Silence M4. M4. And this one right here, where that could have been a planned retake awkwardness. He saves it. Quiet on the scoreboard, yes, but contributing hugely. And with 69 ADR, he's extra cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Smokes. Not quite going to get over the line. He was hoping for, does catch him setting up nades. He's gobbled one of his own. That's a full flash. Doesn't get fuller than that. Tessa's taking space. I love it. They're into pit, folks. We've got a weird round for the next 60 so seconds. Rush is behind enemy lines now. He doesn't really know how to deal with this. The smokes, Molotovs, and soon to be bullets. God, back to the wall, quite literally. Couldn't fall away. And now, what a weird round. The map almost gets dissected in a new manner. 
The whole of the apartments is just flooded with T's. Overwhelmed, outgunned, outnumbered, rush falls. The bomb is on the site now, finally. So that can go down, so at least the clock is favorable to the T's. Oh, my God. Big, untradeable, swings around, Stown, he's on it. Yeah, he's set for more here as well. Off angle, Blaine will be sweeping in to check sides. And oh, misses his shots. Tessa's clean on the D. Cadian the same on his Galil and Poison. Too much on his plate. He just doesn't have the teeth to chew through all of these in time. Aura just waiting for the off angle. As soon as he crosses, he's going to have to hit the most ridiculous flick. Tessa's given him a chance. That's 9 6. Heroic. And for four in the last three months for complexity on this map, and perhaps being exploited here. It seems like GG.bet tend to agree. We're into it with myself, Sponge, and Pansy Bomb loose, and they'll be taking their time with this one. Very stark contrast to the pistol we saw from the CTs in the first half. Charging down middle, much less bloodshed this time, Lauren. Yeah, slow little mid-piece coming out for the Ts, but they're, they're winding up to this. They're not being hyper-subtle either. Blame F, Rush. The two to be able to put this into place, but look at those CTs. They are stacked up, ready to go. It looked like they were expecting a little bit more presence through apartments, but it's not going to be. Yeah, two boiler, two abs, and it's just going to be a... Oh my goodness, it's going to be a massacre for Tessus. He tapped at two of them. Blame and Poison, they're just the next on the chopping block. He's got a 1v3 now. Poison, he's surely screwed a double peek from two different angles. Great shots from Poison! And suddenly they're back in the game. It's down on the flank, trying to pick up the pieces. He can't quite believe it. Exasperated, taking shots and Poison's done it! Three frags on the Glock, it was done. It was sealed, it was supposed to be 10. Poison turns it around and turns the frags on. Three quick kills. Let's see that again. Lovely start. Tessa's getting his headshots, but Poison, he was supposed to be overwhelmed. How did oh. that look so easy? I didn't think that even came oh. in, but bloody oh. hell yeah. Have a nice day, boys. Uh, welcome to the big boy league. This is nuts. Yeah, I, I'm sure you're just pumped up after that because you just don't expect it to come through. You just got kind of like mowed down in a weird stack there. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing for Heroic right there. They've been looking so good and then they've dropped one. That's the individual prowess that we've been talking about with Complexity and it's shone through. He couldn't do it towards the tail end of the first half with the AWP on the retake, but with the Glock, he's done one better. And now Complexity on their anti-eco. They're being held at bay. The Scout, it's in play. The Nade as well with a tickle of damage onto the hero of last round, Poison. But you can check this out. Look at the four-man stack towards the top of Banana from Heroic here. They have a bunch of Nades. They're waiting for this control to see if they can get a freebie. Two Nades are just poised and ready. If more Complexity players make their way up here, this could be catastrophic. Well, that could be a signal, isn't it, Alex? This is going to be a bit of a dangerous one. Here go well, those late. nades. It's good for one, though. They've got a bit of damage done, and they still maintain four players standing. They're pushing this. Yeah, they tuck behind the half wall, though. Now Poison could just line them up. This is a good problem. Tessus, the only one with any sort of hope on this B sign. He's only got 18 points of health. Rotate's come in from Stow, and he'll be putting his Deagle to work. But, yeah. This is complexity all over it. It certainly did have complexity written all over it. Now with a frag from Stown, if he gets another, chips away at Poison, softens him up for Tessus, but low HP. And even lower with headshots like that. Poison securing the round. KD with only the scout, no kit for that retake. Curious if he wants to go for more damage here or just hold on to it. The fact he's probing forward, it looks like Kadian actually wants to get stuck in on this one here, and it's not going to be an easy feat whatsoever. This is not the weapon for the job. And now he maybe is just hiding in plain sight? I mean, I guess you could truly say tunnel visioned at this point, couldn't you? Can't really do much other than this. 10 second ninja, Lauren. Here it comes. I don't say it, Alex. <laughs> don't. About now, Cadian? They had a kid. Now? Had a <laughs> yeah, imagine. Something. Imagine. Oh. He's got 400 bucks. On the nose, actually. Yeah. They're a little worried, of course. They might draw them Bring back. Them back. Yeah, come on oh. back, boys. Come on back. Come check it out. You sure you oh, don't no. want to hang around? You sure? Uh, it's a party. Just peek around the corner. Have a yeah. look. Yeah. All right. Well, those are the nades there, and they did do damage, but being ahead of it, right, there could have been a real issue. <laughs> More miss smokes towards CT spawn here. Seen a couple of those today. Poison, like, I get it now. I get it. Like, are you on the hype train? Well, bear in mind, I I never got to see him. Yeah. Like, by the time I'd left, 
He was on his Come way back. up. He was, you know, maybe a name I'd seen somewhere, but nothing to this extent. No so, one that I'd have put in these rosters and said, yep, there he is. Yeah, Stunner and I actually had the pleasure. I know that's a casting duo that no one's ever heard of, but Stunner and I casted yeah. a WESG back right. uh, a couple of years ago. I think it was 2018. Yeah. And uh, we got to see Ships and Poison as part of the roster. Now, Ships, unfortunately, on the bench over there with Contact. He hasn't okay. been able to, to make anything of the name, but Poison... He's really started to shine through. And with this North America move, I guess this year they've been mainly a European team. Yeah. yeah. It's getting to shine. I mean, I would describe him as kind of following very much in the footsteps of, of, of Cirque, mm. right? I mean, right. seeing that uh, European import going to America Got and it. blossoming. Finding home. Very there. similar vibes there. 21 years of age, and he's from Bulgaria as well. So another potential for the, uh, the Bulgarian bulldozer title. <laughs> I do yeah. love... They're on there the complexity star lineup though. It feels like there's a lot of potential, a lot of talent that's somewhat dipped at some point or, you know, start shining as brightly. This round should be comfy, bear in mind. We're, we're discussing outside because honestly, the stack towards B won't get as much um, action as Tessus did just go down. So I do like the idea of what complexity is doing because I remember config back back in the day, kind of, it felt like he peaked and then he dimmed a bit and it was like, oh, where's that config gone? And you know, seeing back here is good rush in this, being a real safe pair of hands. Poison, what a nice you know, concept he is. Blame F and Obo. Again, names that are newer to me, but my word, are they really holding water here? Now, on the playback in, if they can get anything away, that'd be quite nice. It's been two years since we saw uh, <laughs> Config at, at a major event. I mean, like, Crazy, I'm looking it? at his achievements. Yeah, the last time at a major, he was it was E-League Major 2018, on stage exit. It, it's definitely, this is like a, a new rescue, a new chance, a new approach for Config, and certainly a talent that many will be excited to see continue to uh, develop and blossom. Especially under Blame F, I think there's, mm. he's made no secret of the influence of having that Danish in-game leader, a bit of a life leader as well, helping him understand uh, the role of a professional Counter-Strike player and, and the, uh, the habits and the routines that can benefit them. Okay. We're about to get this one underway, ladies and gentlemen. 9-9, nine, nine, first gun round here of the second half, about to come through. A couple of bonus weapons carried across from the complexity side of things. And, oh, a bit of a yawn there. It is early for Jason. It is early. I did, get, I did get, him, catch get him a coffee. It. Get him too, because this one could be a bit <laughs> of a long series right here, ladies and gentlemen. Config keeping on that MAC-10. Oboe dealing with any second mid-pushes right now. Bloody hell. How did Borup just receive that much damage? Couple of nades, Lauren. Perfectly Oof. placed grenades onto his little head. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, Borop and Nico working with eight health between them. Not ideal. And certainly does soften them up for anything that Complexity planned to do here. I like the boost on the logs. Gonna see over that smoke. Bonfig does catch a nade. I love the timing. Couldn't quite find the final bullet. Maybe Tessus can finish it off. That's great. Expecting the trade, and he's taken the head off Oboe. That's sensational. It's going to channel them all into with, towards B. You can see the CT's reaction. Instantly drop that smoke. They're going. They're going to try and send it on this one. Yeah, Config's right there. The spray from Stown is so good, though. That's going to hinder progress. Now, Poison, that low HP, going to come back and haunt them. Blame F now left in the 1v4. Bear in mind, some of these players are low. They're, they're less than a one-shot, and they're all quite close by. Stown's the big problem. Problem and Stown denies anything from beginning. Nice little hold there from Heroic. And that was a big round. And that start looked like it was going to be complexity, right? But right back in it, that damage somehow didn't equate to the round. Yeah, I mean, the double push, perhaps, it's, it's really quite inspired because a lot of T setups start there, right? You know, you, there's a lot of nades being pulled. There's a lot of weight enemy CT utility uh, by the, uh, the trellis and, and they managed to get that double push and, and you could see again Rush was so ready to start throwing his util he wasn't expecting that push from Tess is getting the second onto Obo won them the round so Heroic do take double digits first but it is just a Nat's wing in it and a bit of a change of pace it seems to be seeing a lot of early presence up towards middle Borup responsible for containing Banana yeah, this U2 looks fast, Alex. They're, they're not really going go. slow. CT, library, all there, but ahead of it is Kadian, and we still have a player towards CT Arch that could swing. That's a bad miss. Tessus, quite the opposite, flashed in. Nico and Tessus just knock him down like Skittles, and Nico's not done. First the flash, now the frags. He's going to swing on that. Kadian supporting a great spray from Config. My god, he's on for an ace clutch here. It would be impossible. Kadian ensures it is. And so 11 for Heroic. They extend their lead and do so quickly. Tessus, very reactionary play. 
the missed shot from Kaden, it was more important that he just fired a shot, draw attention his way, and then the flash time, timing must have been perfect. Look at this, they are full blind. That's two players who could not shoot back. Yeah, Nico was in the pit. He's the individual who threw that flash. He didn't have to focus towards quad or holes. He was actually in the middle of pit, and that is a clutch flash right there. That was only made possible because of Nico. And Tessas, he looks like the hero. He gets the two-piece feed right there and bows Heroic out of what could have been a sticky situation. Dealing with aggression right now, and well, the man of the moment in the previous gets a little bit of damage done to himself. We'll dip on back. Banana Control now in the favor of Heroic here, and they're looking poised on this CT side defense. Now the guns have come out. It does feel a little dangerous still. Well, that rifle's still in play. Once that's removed, if it does get removed, that is, it does kind of instantly become quiet. This is our setup for future, Lauren. So one of right. us has to be a bit, bit brave. You have to tuck into it's that half me, wall. Isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. you, your anti-flash. And I'm right. up on the wall. I'll be screaming and running away when they come and you kill them all. So I'm going to be baited. Is yeah, it's essentially, I'm the, ma I'm the master uh, at the bait. And um, <laughs> you can be the student <laughs> obo. Okay. Get schlatted. <laughs> that what that's what they say. I like that one. I've heard that yelled a few times. Nice shot from Cadian as well. This could get problematic if blame does go down. Maybe not. They're wrapping around long side. Nico's responsibility. He will have a cursory glance and get more than he bargained for. Obo left alone though. And a great what? shot. My God. A 1v2 and it's certainly achievable. He's been given time to plant here. No armor, Lauren. If he gets hit, aim punch ruins this clutch. As you see. Ah. Oh, there was there was a world where I got excited by that. Honestly, those shots were just filth from him, though. Like, the man's just tapping away, isolating, you know, Kadian on the site. Not bad at all, but another round for Heroic. Whichever way it goes down, yes, it can be close. They're still picking up the, the rounds here. Yeah, and he's been playing by the rules of the magic number I keep talking about. So three kills there for Obo. Well, it's important that they're able to get this done on a round like this. You don't want to limit... I'm sorry, you do want to limit the CT side of the economy. You want to make sure that they can't continue to add that bank, and you don't want to let them have clean rounds. So this here, even though it wasn't a round on the board, a plant came through, fantastic. Three big kills, even better. This is damage being done to the economy as well as more money being put in the back pocket of complexity here as they need to find a gun round. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Chadney, you know I love a good double orb. Okay, well, the fact that Stown is rocking it, we'll be seeing that one over towards Banana here. Three members of, com oh, sorry, of Heroic to deal with complexity's Banana aggression. Early nades back and forth. Molotov to push them back from the half wall. App set up. So this is very much a one and done, and that's the one. They'll be done. They'll back up. Smoke it off. And that's that part of the map. Playing right at that half wall. You can see, respecting that util. They know the CT mid-round util will chip away at them if they continue to stay there. He's trying to use the sound cues to bait. Oh, can't fix. Very nice moves. He pulled the molly and the smoke out of them. And now he can be very quick behind them. They're going up, hey. And Kadian, if that smoke arrives, I think they're going to disrespect it. He's got a good chance at another here. Kadian's on for four. Oh! Maybe even the ace. Go on, Kadian. He takes over the game. He takes 13. And it's all down mid with his AWP. Lovely stuff there. That was great from Heroic. Not only did they force them back into mid with their top banana retake nades, Kadian knew that they could be somebody hanging around, finding that opening frag, and then they had to, they all like Skittles, they fell running at him. This is aggressive orping from Kadian here, and we talk about how good these individuals can be with their fundamental safe pair of hands. Well, this is a bit of aggression, a bit of pizzazz, as me mum would call it. Pizzazz, but definitely. Maybe even Chaz hands after that one with a step ball change out the door. 13, he's gonna love that. I wish I could hear it. Kadian, very, very passionate presence in the server. I wish we had a microphone. I could hear that. That was a silent I felt the roar. Oh, yeah. I could fully hear that. Uh, but yes, Heroic, they are looking close and poised to picking up their map pick. Far from over. Far from over. This is 13 to 9, a four-round gap and a discrepancy that Blame is going to look to resolve with the full util. Okay, Chad, when you've got this many nades, what? Oh, they've blocked it. To? They were setting up an execute here, so it's going to be a little bit late. Config's nades aren't going to be in time. This looks like the mouse spots execute with a couple of tweaks. Oh, this yeah. could be juicy. Let's have a look at how it goes down. Already Util in the way. Rush ready to extinguish. The fireman's here. Kadian knows what he can do, though. He's done it before, and he might just do it again. Does not want to outstay his welcome, though. Falls away to deeper CT Arch. It gives up some map control, though. It isolates those players on the site, and they are on red alert. This is intense. They've used all their nades, and so now, well, Tess is just lining them up, but blames into the side poisons there too, and unfortunately, Nico, the pillar, the turret, towards Pit. Every time it gets a little problematic, he's there for his contribution. 
And that will put the 14th on the board. So now it's really no margin for error on the calls here from Complexity. It made a lot of sense what they tried, throwing all of their eggs at that A site. That was well handled. That's a pocket strat. Those are the ones you pull out when dire straights are on the cards. And while it's looking that way here, so huge play there from Heroic. And if they seal this one without letting Complexity get to double digits, it's great news going into Nuke. Another map they're very proficient on. Four towards Top Banana here on the CT side. So a gamble call. Lots of utility being used here to dissuade. But what that will allow is the two remaining B defenders to hold on their utility for late round. They don't see Complexity pushing this. Oh, nice nade as well. So damage is really falling in the favor here. Oh, I say that. Look what happened to Stown and Cadian in the meantime. I guess the one bonus is they are on the orps, right? So... If anyone's going to be low HP, I guess you'd rather it be them. They can still do incredibly well. No one's going to be flashing. No one's going to peek on it, of course. They're just hindering, slowing down, trying to deny. Config has made it towards the top side, though, and has to back away. Yeah, I really like that util set, and it makes a lot of sense because you can let them have it and then take it back whenever you desire. I mean, it's a very powerful combination of nades. Unfortunately, once it's gone, there's three of them banana bombs age. Oh. I am, I am baffled. Okay, Rush is going to kind of calm my nerves. Looks like his team are on the way back as well. So this gamble with the three from Heroic deep into the pit side. Have you read this? Does look like he's got the right call. If he gets one and disappears, this is going to get very hard for complexity. Not this time. Rush says no. Big deny, and that's a big amount of room opened up. They know these pit players and site players have been great, though. Would you want to go towards them? Tessus has been nuts. Nico's been on point. They've infiltrated. They're in towards CT, but they've held. They've taken a second. They've caused food for thought. But as said, time is ticking. They've got to go, and they have to get past these two absolute monsters. There goes Tessus, but Nico's still alive, and only for so long. Finally, they get towards A. Finally, they get that bomb down. But my word, it's taken a while. Yeah, that took a while indeed. And Complexity just pulling apart that A defense. Nico hitting his great shots. You, you got reminded of what they, uh, they are able to do. It was Tessus who actually found the, uh, the one constellation frag on that take. But Nico just nullified. Puts 10. Now we're heading towards the tail end of the game here. So let's just take stock of the frags on the board right here. Nico on the side of Heroic. 20 kills to his name. We've got 17 for Stown, 19 for Cadian. That ace right there definitely racking up his frags. Tessus with 15, Bow up now with 11. And on the other side of things, thank you very much, Rushley. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can find him on the Twitter sphere. 21 for Obo, who's had some magical moments. Poison with 17, that clutch on the pistol round. Don't forget about that one. 13 for Blame. 10 for Config and Rush down the bottom there on nine. But we were talking about Rush's frags. On that CT side, he had a lot of impacts and multi kills that definitely helped them. And now that complexity have uh, broken a bit of a drought here. That was a five-round run from Heroic on their CT side. Give me that poison T side orping. Give me that. Give me that spice. Give me that flair. I want to be looking away from the screen because your future is so bright, Poison. Now, standard start. You're going to see the banana barrage of utility. Just a carpet of flame and smoke, and there's more where that came from. A deep incendiary seems to be Borup's intentions here. So you can see they will throw down a second layer, jump for the info, deep smoke it, and deny it. That's lovely. Hey on. All theirs. They're burning utility though. Like it's it's <laughs> it's out on bore up. Test is down to a flash. Nico flash and nade. It's 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 gonna be quite light potentially. They've held on to the bare minimum though. It's that setup I was talking about though. This is all in everywhere across the map. Postured forward in middle. Oh, even going for info. Tessus, that was very brave. Yeah, very wild sp swing. They're coming in. Borup, they will it's not two. expect this. He needs a multi-kill. Poison's in trouble. Config the trade. Stown needs more. The bullets are coming in, but his spray control is magnificent. That'll take him the double. That'll give them the numbers advantage. And the bomb is gray screen. Found the fresh weapon, but disadvantaged. Look at Obo. How has he gone there? How has he done that? Honestly, I thought this might have been a bit of a GG, considering Rush is like 12 HP. I was like, oh, but they can hold security. Oboe's heard those steps. He knows what's coming. He, he might not be able to beat them there, but because he doesn't know if it's both of them, but he can certainly inform Rush. Rush has found a molly somewhere as well. I don't know if he started with that. Oboe has a smoke here. Yeah, I was wondering if he's going to drop that. CTs have smoked it off. Rush, I'm surprised. He's mollied out of position. Oh, no, the molly, and now he's gone down. We'll fall to Oboe. They have kits. 
A lot of pressure on the youngster here. 17 years of age and it will be the defuse. Cadian secures it just in the nick of time to put 15 on the board. A full team contribution. Tessis' push for info does not go unyielded. Yeah, if Oboe was just one step closer there, that smoke towards Banana would have been absolutely everything. Heroic may have reconsidered the push, but this multi-kill here from Stamp, the one Hunden said to watch out for in the pre-game interview. Two massive frags there. Should have probably had the third coming through the smoke, but you can see what this means. It's a big round, 15 on the board here. Still timeouts left for both teams. Not to be taken, so complexity with the plant. The guns are up, they're back in. All right, map one is a big deal here. This is a huge confidence boost for Heroic. This is a great map choice for them too. It certainly worked out well thus far. Stown up to the challenge. He's proven his value already, but this time gonna be challenged again. Config aggression. Not letting them have that space for free. But trying to play around that sandbag smoke and cost him his life. That's a big early casualty and Cadian takes some initiative and takes a head off. Oboe and equalized. So that hard work onto the first. Stown not feeling so guilty anymore. Oh, this rotation. Four frags from taking... Oh, gamble call map. here. Oh, look, look at, at this gamble. Rotate. I love it. These are the type of risks I like you to take on the CT side, especially when you're one round away from closing things on out. But they are giving up a free A bomb site here. There's not a lot of utility for them to retake back in with if they continue to expend it over towards Banana. But they'll hear these nades go down over on A. So I'm not sure if they want to go for this or if they just want to hold on to the guns and have another crack in future rounds. They could go for a four on four retake. It's not impossible. It's not. It's not impossible. They have more utility, <laughs> Sorry. right? Like, we, we play these games. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, it's not I think impossible, but... The part you really like, Chad, about yeah. Gamble Stacks is that they save and have another go, isn't it? So don't you... No, I really like Gamble Stacks because of a player who used to play on alt alternate attacks back in uh, Counter-Strike 1.6 for all of you little Zoomers out there. He was an in-game leader for attacks. His name was Moon. It was little M... Oh, oh, big N, and there was Pan on the team, and Chef Koch, and a Prox, and I'm really going back in my time machine. But what used to do observing for us in was it the uh, same Brody? Pan? Mm -hmm. Could have been. Okay, well, that team they always did like gamble stacks. I remember one on Train. I think it was against Zonic and the boys. This is really taking me back to my bedroom uh, when I was a 14 year old boy. Um, but I, I really like the gamble stacks there, and that's where I kind of stole a lot of or the benefits of it. Yeah, because it's such a risk, right? But if you're reading your opponent, which is what in-game leading is about, right? You're getting those feelings, those gut calls, and if you're able to pull one off, and you're able to we, we used to call it we're booking them, right? Yeah. You know, when you're able to pull that off, oh, it feels so good. It feels it feels better than running a picture perfect strategy, actually. Yeah, I'm in your head to the point where I put all of my chickens in the right place. It's mental chess, and uh, I think the fact that Hunden now gets to be outside of the server, not having to worry about his own mouse and keyboard, getting these five little pawns to push around the board, must be a pretty exciting prospect. I think you'd be a fool to consider what Nico's been doing today the work of a pawn. Cadian as well. Oof. Trying to get that left hook. Down is going to have to try and get himself Ooh. out of trouble. He's in a problem. Okay, they missed their molly too. So actually, hold up a second. All their health. What was that? A nuclear device just went off in Banana, and now they've lost the bomb. Heroic could be converting this round off the back of a question mark. I don't know what just happened. It must have been the nades. Down sticking around. Config hungry, Oboe's found it. We're into a 4v3. Now, they don't have to rush on to B, but at the moment, it's all on to Borup. Rotate's coming in from Cadian. Yeah, which every way this goes down, Chad, find out who sent that nuke. Because um, right now, Oboe, Rush, and Config are desperately trying to keep this together. This is one that you're probably left reeling a little bit, but it is still feasible. It's just tricky. For now, Config holds mid, joins them back on Banana, Cadian bore up on the other side, one sitting way towards Emo. That's going to be bore up. Are we going to get the first bit of information? Obo, he's seen him. He's had a look. He knows what's going on, but this could play against them. Keep in mind, it's 30 seconds still on the board. They've not seen the bomb just yet. Yeah, they're still not rotating. Still deep into pit. The rotate will be long, and so Cadian and Borup needed to contribute. 20 seconds for that plant to go down. With the info oh. and with the shots, Cadian is playing a masterful game here on the AWP. That's it.